Are you looking to weld a shipping container onto a trailer? Our customer wants to install that container on that trailer. And instead of us welding it, we're gonna show you a method that allows us to use our stacking twist locks and then the customer can now remove this container and use their awesome flat deck trailer whenever they need it. Stay tuned. Just wanted to jump inside the shop really quick to show you the differences between the two twist locks that we sell. Traditionally, if a customer is looking to secure a container to a trailer, we would recommend the deck mount twist lock. So this on a steel deck, you can very easily just weld both sides and now uh, this twist lock is secured. But in this instance, we are going to use our recession plates from our oil field skids. So it's an existing technology that we utilize and it works extremely well. Uh, what we do is we actually cut out the uh, web of the beam and then we stiffen it with these fish plates and then now we're able to use our stacking twist lock. So these here are typically meant to secure uh, one container on top of another and the issue with them is that they'll actually collide with something and so that's why you just want the one-sided twist lock but with our recession plates we are able to utilize this and then when you're not using this you can take these twist locks and just throw them in your toolbox and now nothing's protruding above the deck of your trailer and you have a perfect flat deck to work with when the container is not on it. So let's jump outside and see how they're doing. So this project, uh, William and I had to figure out what we were going to do to make the container actually sit nice and level on all the cross members on the trailer. And so once we finally figured that out, we were able to get to work and we use the recession plates from our oil field skids which work alongside these uh, twist locks here. And so these stacking twist locks, they add an inch of height to where that casting is. Plus the underside of the shipping container is 12 millimeters above the underside of the casting. And so we need to make up an inch and a half of room. And we do that by using those recession plates and dropping them lower than the deck of the trailer. And that allows all the weight to be evenly distributed rather than just pressing on four, uh, load points there and so th that's the key with our oil field skids and also with this trailer design and then another thing it's out of your way so if you want to use this as a flat deck and haul lumber or whatever you still can by just simply removing that container and undoing the four twist locks so we'll follow along as these guys build it and uh yeah we'll take a look once they're done if we're still around because she's almost five o'clock customers waiting and we got to get this thing done
So there you have it. There's a quick tip how we at the Container Guy do things. We like to do things right. This customer is gonna be super impressed with this even though they had to wait around all day when they thought it was gonna be done by this morning. But we know they'll be happy, so I know they'll enjoy it. But if you enjoyed this video, please help us out. Give it a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.